All right, so I'll make this brief. I do not get the mass appeal of trucks. Now look, if you live in Oklahoma, we have terrible roads. Trucks are really the only thing that can survive our roads, especially in the Tulsa area. It's really bad. But they have such a high price. Um, and they're nice, don't get me wrong. Modern trucks are very nice. They have all the... This is an F-350. They have all of the conveniences of the modern car, but that's just it. Why are you buying a truck and saying that, oh man, it has all the conveniences of a modern car. If you don't tow anything, you don't move anything. Is riding this high really worth it? Now this is quite high because this is an F-350, but look, I mean, this cabin is very nice. You know, very, um, it doesn't look super utilitarian. You can tell, you know, it's kind of got the square shapes going. So, very nice. But again, well, you know, these trucks ride like cars now. They're comfortable. Okay, why not buy a car then? <laughs> like, I don't get it. Like, modern trucks are rugged and things like that. I get it. But, again, the price is high. And then, tires. I mean, four or $500 for tires on top of $50,000 for a 2019 GMC. I mean, looking out this back window, that's nice. This back seat definitely feels as spacious as a midsize or even a large car. So if you are towing, pulling, hauling, using a truck for work, you're a handyman, maintenance guy, I completely get it. You got a farm, you got a ranch, but top of tire cost, you've got gas. These trucks aren't getting 30 miles to the gallon. Yeah, they may be getting closer to 20 versus being closer to 10 back in the early 2000s and the 90s. And again, they are spacious. I mean, look at this Toyota. That's a good size screen. But again, what are you doing with the utility of the truck? Nothing, you're just burning money. Very nice gripe about them is that in order to get some of the fuel economy numbers that we're seeing with trucks they're employing especially this manufacturer turbocharged engines which I don't see going for the long haul so I think they said their turbos go like hundred and fifty thousand miles which is great that's great. turbos especially modern twin turbos can spool up very quickly but the problem is there's so many electronics involved that if something goes wrong, the car is gonna go into limp mode. And I don't feel like, you know, these modern turbo engines, not a turbo diesel, but a regular turbo gasoline V6 or even a four cylinder, um, are not going to be able to haul and pull and do thing and go 150,000 miles if you're using a truck as it was uh, designed to be used so on these old V8s or turbo diesels they can misfire and you can still get the trailer home and do what you need to do you can still limp around town